Hey everyone, this is Dom Graf PW coming at you with a video showing you how to properly unpack and repack models.pck. This is an issue for a lot of people because SPAC does not support this size of file when it comes to unpacking and repacking. So I did a little digging and I found a program called PPAC from a source of mine. And this is a new take on SPAC, so this one will be allowing you to unpack and repack models.pck. However, it is a little different than SPAC. So if you follow my guide, I'll teach you now how you can unpack and repack models.pck without crashing. So what you're going to want to do is download the link in the description and you will get PPAC. You open up the RAR file and just extract these to a desktop and do a different folder. You want to have your models.pck that you want to edit inside of this folder so we can do the edits. So as you can see, the current models.pck for Epic Perfect World is 2.9 gigabytes. Um, any file over 2 gigabytes on SPAC will crash and that's why we have to use PPAC instead. So what you're going to want to do is once you have models.pck inside of your PPAC folder, you want to go to the unpack.bat. Now if I was just to click this, it stopped working, it crashed just like SPAC would. So here we're going to actually edit the bat file so that it will extract models.pack. So you want to right click and edit. You're going to see a command line here, start ppack.exe with U for unpack and quotation marks. Now this is going to be a different value for you here, but as long as you have the folder path to the models.pck, which you can find by going into the folder and clicking here, you will now see the path, the file. You just put slash models.pack so once you have that you want to copy it and you want to put it between the two parentheses and save the file now double click unpack and as you can see it is now unpacking our models.pck file I'll resume once it's done unpacking now that you can see that we have unpacked models.pck you can open up miles.pck and you'll see all of the files you can edit. You can do your edits and once you're done go back to the ppack folder. You want to go to pack.bat, edit, and do the same exact thing that you did for unpack.bat. Put the file to models.pack.files at the end so it's detecting the folder not your pack file and put a one afterwards there should already be one there but if you remove it just make sure there has to be a one after the, the path and save press pack.bat it's gonna start packing but it's gonna be different than before I have already packed so I'm gonna show you what to do next you're gonna see that you have a new file now models.pck and models.pkx. If you look at models, it's much smaller than it was before. This is because they have split the file so that it will be functional in the program. What you're going to need to do is put the models.pkx back into the models.pack. The tool that I have provided called the splitter and merger. You want to open that up. The two circles to merge select both files, open, and yes. As you can see it is now merging the two files together. And there you go guys, you have your finished edited models.pack, you can put it into your element client, and there you go. You are now ready to edit your models.pck. I hope this video helped you guys out that are curious. I know this is something that was really bugging a lot of people. 
So I hope that I helped and happy editing.